Amen. It's the ISO guy, Sensei, the greatest known 2K in existence. And look, this is gonna be the most important 2K video you watch this year. You learn how to shoot, you're better than 70% of the community, man. Very important. Send this video to somebody who can't shoot. I'm gonna be giving y'all jump shots for every rating, every height, every play style, every archetype, everything. All the best tips to be a consistent shooter, best method to get your hot spots. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe if y'all are new. I'm be giving y'all immaculate tips like this. So you don't struggle on a video game where you spend a hundred a build. <laughs> <laughs> We are 40 subscribers away from 300.9K. Hit the like button and turn on post notice. Now, firstly, this jump shot right here. This is a great jump shot for bigs. 610 plus. Now, if you're a robot, there are a lot of robots who made builds with low three-pointer or midi. This is the one for you. Y'all ask me for these type of jump shots all the time. Here's a nice one for you. I recommend to never make your shooting this low, man. This is a new era, new age. Unless you know how to cheese on the inside, there's no point to put no shooting on your build you should only have insides in this 2k if you could cheese and score every time or you're with a team to where you can cheese it and he just chucking and you getting bored but overall y'all should not be making insides like that bro especially if you play with random you clog up the paint most randoms cannot shoot so you have to give them space to run to the rim and hold square real player percent is broken man come on guys you clogging up the paint, you're putting the best paint defender in the paint. This is what y'all claim y'all know ball so much. You claim you know ball so much, but you're making builds that can't shoot and clogging up the paint for your teammates. But you claim you know ball. That doesn't make sense, guys. You feel me? Come on, man. We got to evolve. Drop the ego. Here's another immaculate jump shot for um big builds, 610 plus. This is probably your best one overall. You know, is that KD, man? You know, now th this is an all around one. You feel me? It ain't got the lowest time and stability. So, you know, it's, it's all around. Here's another immaculate big build jump shot. Only a 83 all around. Okay. Them three is, th is him at the K. Okay? I'm going to show y'all another big build popper center build jump shot also okay now look this Kyrie right here this is my personal favorite jump shot so far okay this is what I use when I'm on a little guard y'all are always gonna be asking I think Kyrie better than Cam but you know y'all let me know how y'all feel look here that damn Culver man okay this that one for the popper big ISO builds you know if you need it over is him okay if you missing with Culver you probably try well you need to get it together this needs to be a jump shot that you're recommending to your friends who cannot hit or the Jalen one that I'm finna show y'all too you can also use this on a popper too y'all undersized here's the alternate reality you know to tick down and look Jalen is for you know big ISO builds or you can use this on your popper too it's one of the best ones Culver and Tyson or the top two so far that I've tested now this Isaac one is it's up there with the the top three the KD and the uh, the Smith whatever his name was these are the top three that you should be using on your 610 plus man now Cam Thomas for meta guards is probably the most popular jump shot for uh meta guards I think uh Kyrie and Cam are top two so uh yeah now look here the here the my career method real quick right look bro all you're gonna want to do is put the game mode on rookie right and then you're just going to catch and shoot and shoot right over them. Go to your spot that you want the hot spots. Put it on five minute quarters or you can put it on whatever minutes you want and you can get all your hot spots. Do not play online until you get your hot spots. Then you go to lethal after you get your hot spots. Every three point zone, get your hot spots. Look, it's very simple, man. You don't even got to dribble. You don't got to do nothing. Just look, just shoot it. Green, and you could just keep doing that. You can stay down there. Look, the shoot, it don't matter. It's on rookie. They're not going to contest you. Even if you go down there, just shoot the ball. Shoot, 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 shoot. Get your hot spots, though. Same with the midi. You could do a screen fade. Get your hot spots, okay? Tell your friends also, don't play online unless you get your hot spots. I would say over 60, 70% of the community doesn't have their hot spots and they're playing online, bro. Get your hot spots, bro. Get your lethals, man. It's just lazy, bro. It's so important. Before we get into the rest of the tips, 2K Tuts did a test with a modded controller, right? He tested out low risk, normal risk, high risk. So as you can see, high risk with, you know, between these, get, you're hitting at a higher percent, right? 80, 50, Six. This you're not gonna hit as high, but it's almost there, right? And then low risk, it's a little lower than this one, right? Then when you get to here, right? Low risk, you know it's, eh. and it's like, eh. 
But then look, you hitting at a higher clip than the high risk. And like the bottom tier, you really can't time your shot. Look, you can, but look, for the high risk, you really missing it, right? So look, here's what I recommend. Of course, I'd say high risk. If you're decent at the game, you could really time your stuff and all that. But if you're pretty horrible and you're more average you can try out the normal, man, and you could be Gucci. But if you, you know, you somewhat with it, I would say go high risk, bro. But um, if you're like lagging, you're some foreigner, and you got horrible internet, you can't get a LAN cable, you're always spiking, put on low risk, man. I mean, they letting it come on in the game. You could shoot 50%, you time it perfect, and then it's like way bigger. He did a chart basically showing like the green window. So like, you know, your range is like this, but it's like random when you gonna make it, you know? And you know, green is like you support supposed to make it most of the time but yeah so 2k tuts did another video you know 2k should actually be showing y'all this and he shows you the damn release points in this hole you know this is when you should be releasing it for jump off of what he's saying this is when you should be releasing it from set point and this is when you should be releasing it from push and then release is right here i prefer a release now look, 2K Lab put out a video, you know, with they modded controllers testing out button versus rhythm shooting. And you can see rhythm shooting is way better. I mean, if you can get that in your game and throw it in every now and then, do it. You have way less room for error, a, you know, bigger green window. And yeah, even with the normal, you can mistime it and make it sometimes. So it's kind of crazy. Now, even in my other videos, I've been telling y'all about set shot specialists, right? 2K Lab did a video, right? Basically, make sure you get this at least gold in some way, either with your max plus one or getting the 89 midi or three point, and you will be able to shoot much easier. You should only have it with these. You're some type of god, right? And you're really trying to tap into something else. But if, you know, there's a lot of lag latency, you want to deal with less of that, you got to be gold plus, okay? He's saying this is the benefit you're going to see if you invest more into it and all this and that. This is the badge y'all need. It's not just spot ups. Um, Any shot that's not fading, it pops up, okay? You stop and shoot. Here's the limitless range. Y'all want to invest in it, but hey. You should be playing on a monitor, okay? I know it sounds dumb, but there's a lot of old heads in this world. Y'all got to share this video. You need to be playing on a monitor with all games. There's a delay. You're playing on some big 60 inch. There's a delay. It might look better, whatever, but it's a bigger delay. You need to be playing on a monitor like the BenQ, ASIC, whatever, ASIC, whatever it's called, okay? You need to be playing on a monitor. I think I switched in like 2K18 or something. You know, I was still a god at shooting back then, but I don't know, but y'all are even more or delayed on a super del delayed game. Secondly, very, this is very important. Very, bro, it's so important that I can't even explain. You need to be making sure that you are Ethernet cable from your PlayStation into your router. That is fundamental to playing online games. Or you're gonna be delayed. You're gonna get way more lag spikes, etc. Need the Ethernet cable. There are super long ones. You have to get it. If your mama don't want you to do it or whatever, you are gonna have to find a way to get your own internet in your room. You have to do it okay or you will um be very unhappy now you don't gotta hardwire your controller there's actually videos out there saying you get less of a delay with your controller unplugged for the ps5 for some you can look it up yourself ps4 wasn't like that i'm pretty sure but for some reason for the ps5 if you play without it plugged in you get less delay i don't know but one thing for sure that i want to tell y'all is make sure you always play either without your controller plugged in or with your controller plugged in because they're two different delays it's just like when, when you play in the rec versus the park they're two different lag delays latencies and lag spikes when you do it with you're adding a different factor when your controller start to die you plug it in you're gonna notice that it, it just seemed different or you're just starting to miss but trigger effect this is very important please guys please send this video to your friends when i play with randoms especially the old heads dog that you hear it you hear it bro that's all you hear in their controller <laughs> bro you can't play like that it's disrupting you okay this is okay but the, the trigger effect is in <laughs> bro you gotta you know you got something tripping in your hand bro how can you play you know just when dribble it's gonna it's gonna intimidate you you're gonna mess up your shots it's turn it off guys okay now look your shot timing profile put it 
here, okay? Either here or here. You can start off here. This description, it says similar to previous 2Ks, but according to 2K, uh, 2K Lab chart, that's not true because that doesn't represent those 2Ks or I don't, I don't know. Look, bro, 2K makes it to where you have to have shooting boost to be able to shoot consistent. I know it costs VC, but if you want to shoot as good as you can, you got to buy the, uh, the shooting boost, bro. That, that's just how it is. And it got to do with your Gatorade. So make sure you're doing your Gatorade drills and all that, man. And I think you even get a discount unless they took it out this year, but got to have jump shot boost and some form of Gatorade. So, you know, you have a bigger stamina meter and all this. And now while you're moving around, you shoot the ball. Hey, you don't need all of them, but you need some of them, especially if you're a guard. They make you pay to play to uh, be consistent in the game. If you can manage without it, rock with it. But that's just how it be. Now, secondly, before you play online, okay, this is very important. You want to get your hot spots. I'm pretty sure before you even go get your lethal zones, I'm going to show you all where that is and everything. Get your hot spots first. Someone clarify down below, but get your red spots first and then go do your lethals. Because last year they had it to where say you went in there and you didn't even have a hot spot and you did your lethals. It wouldn't go to perp. So and you get to get three purples for three weeks, I believe. So unless someone says something down below. Make sure you get your hot spots red before you go get your lethals. Don't play online unless you get your hot zones, guys. Listen, don't play online unless you get your hot zones. You will miss. It, it don't even matter if you have your bad. You need your hot zones, okay? Every 2K. It's so important. Tell your friends. People don't know this. On all your builds, you need your hot zones, okay? You need your hot zones. Now, it could you could get them through the My Career 12 minutes, lowest difficult, right? Or I'm going to show you all these courts. Now, look, to get your hot zones pretty easy, you're going to want to go to the Temple or the Dooms, okay? Look, let me show you. Wait, hold on. Where, where that? Where that? The Dooms, okay? Dooms or the Temple. It's right here, okay? Or you could do the My Career lowest difficulty. Y'all let me know which is easiest so far. Look, right here got the board these people this is where you're gonna do it at man yep. and a lot of your shots are gonna be with this badge too you need to get this up art of shooting gym this is where you're gonna want to go to get your purples get your reds first get your red hot zones first you're gonna go in here it looked clean it looked clean i don't know if it's just because it's new or what it looked clean to me feel me you know you know what we don't we don't look kind of clean but make sure you learn your shot before you actually attempt this. I hear the Gatorade drills closing app is patched. Someone let me know down below. I don't know. Cause y'all know if you mess up, you could close app. I don't know if you could close app on this. Like if you, you're starting to mess up. So, you know, figure that out. Let, let, let me know so I can let everybody else know. So, you know, we can have more fun on the game. Now, of course, you want to have no shot meter. You get a 20% boost to your green window. That's what they say. It's way easier to shoot without it. Just do it. I don't care. It don't help you guys. Just do it, bro. Trust me. Now, look. Some people in previous 2Ks, you know, y'all know having all this stuff on and off. Look, you could take off a lot of stuff. The green release animations, you could take it all off. If, you know, some people believe that adds latency and lag to your player, you know, so you could take off a lot of these things. No ball trail. A lot of people shoot way better without the ball trail. So, you know, you can have this type of stuff off even when it comes to the feedback. Some people have it off. I always keep it on, but some people turn this off and they say they shoot better. So if you're really struggling or you're really delayed or laggy and you know, you, I mean, you could test this out, see if it helped, but you know, that's just a method. Anywho, click the video on the screen. Yeah, uh, a triple hot. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.